If you have an upcoming immigration interview, you should make sure you are completely prepared for your interview and that you avoid making any of the following 10 mistakes. Number one, not knowing your fiance or spouse completely. You should know all about this person so that you can answer almost any question that you are asked at the interview. Learn as much as you can about your fiance or spouse during the six to 12 months you will likely need to wait for your interview. Ask about his or her childhood, their extended family, the type of work that they do, etc. It may not seem like the most romantic thing to talk about, but trust me, you will be glad you did this at interview time. Number two, do not fumble around for evidence or forget to bring evidence to your interview. You will be given an interview notice and there will be a list of things to bring. Bring those things. If requested to bring an original document to the interview, then bring the original. Also, have the evidence in order so that the documents are easy to reach during the interview. You do not want to be fumbling through a bunch of files trying to find a requested document. This is likely to irritate the immigration officer. Number three, do not show up late for your interview. If you are in the United States, show up to the building at least an hour before your interview. The lines to enter the building can be long and you will likely need to stand in another line to check in with the USCIS before going into the waiting room. If you are abroad, read your instruction letter to learn the earliest time you can arrive for your interview. Make sure to arrive at that time. Number four, don't have the attitude that the immigration officer works for you because you or your spouse or your fiance is a US citizen. Believe it or not, this happens. Those interviews tend not to go well. Instead, always treat the immigration officer with respect. Number five, do not argue with your spouse on the way to the interview. If there was ever a time to show each other grace, it's on the way to your immigration interview. You will both be stressed out and it is easy to get into a fight. The problem is that if the fight is not resolved, your body language during the interview will not seem right. The officer will pick up on it and it can definitely cause problems. So before the interview, kiss and make up and hold hands in the waiting room. Your body language will reflect that you are in love. Number six, make sure to listen to the question completely before answering. Some people, due to being nervous at their interviews, will cut the officer off and attempt to answer a question that has not been fully asked. This is rude and will likely irritate the immigration officer. Let the officer ask the complete question, pause, take a breath, and then answer. Number seven, do not guess at the answers to questions. You should prepare for your interview intensely so that you would never be in a position to have to guess. However, there may be answers you simply do not know. Tell the officer that you do not know the answer. This is far better than guessing at an answer. Guessing at an answer can lead to your case being denied. Number eight, do not wear inappropriate clothing to your interview. I ask my clients to wear business casual clothes to their interviews. Unless you want a protracted interview, do not wear jewelry with a marijuana symbol or shirts with offensive messages to your interview. Why would you advertise a potential drug issue to an immigration officer? Dress like you are going to a job interview. You will be happy you did. Number nine, do not ramble on and on when a question is asked. Simply pause, take a breath, and answer the exact question being asked. For example, if you are asked your name, simply answer with your name. Don't provide your life story. Number 10, don't drop a bombshell on your lawyer as you are walking into the immigration building. No idea why this one is listed. Hopefully, you have been truthful with your attorney and the USCIS during the whole process so that this does not become an issue. Always tell the truth to your lawyer and USCIS. If there is a potential problem in your case, it is way better for your lawyer to know about it prior to the case being filed. That way, the issue can be resolved, the case could be postponed, or the case not filed. For making it this far, here is a bonus mistake to avoid at your immigration interview. Do not argue with or raise your voice to an immigration officer. Always be courteous, and if you sense that you are losing your cool in a situation, then count to 10. Pinch yourself, pray, or do something so that you do not lose your cool with the officer. The officer has a lot of power over your future, so do not say anything that could compromise your case. If you found any value in this video, please smash the like button as it does help with the YouTube algorithm. 
Our office handles cases worldwide, and we would be happy to help you. Feel free to call us at 888-801-6558 or email us at attorneygruner at gmail.com. 